the previous video. Now we draw Ryan. <laughs> no more expansion. <laughs> no more senseis. No challenge Miyagi Do. Do not come near Rauso family. You cross Ryan. I will end you. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Chosen. Why are you such a gangster? Boom! How's it going, comrades? This is Wes, aka The Performance here with another reaction. Guys, we're on Cobra Kai Season 5, Episode 3, and as you can see, guys, it's still the normal way. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I don't want to jinx myself, but, you know, like, so far it's looking good, you know? And if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my, watch my last video, you'll understand, but, so guys, not gonna spend too much time talking let's dive right into it what happened last episode last episode right miguel um found out the actual truth about his father that his father is basically uh a narcissist i don't what is his father <laughs> i mean he just has a problem with women apparently he thinks that they're all out to get him or something and his mom saw that and that's why she left him she was like you know I guess she kind of, you know, because that sounds like the the basis of an abusive relationship, you know. So it, maybe it was a good thing she got she got one out of there. Um, but it looks like Robbie and Johnny finally find Miguel. That's gonna be interesting to see how that after that plays out. And chosen, um, after infiltrating Silver's Cobra Kai, he is found out by Silver, and essentially when he confronts him about it he essentially has the other senseis attack him as well and but chosen like a gangster like a straight up g takes them all out man chosen he's 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 a, he's another level bro <laughs> he's he's different <laughs> he then pretty much draws a line with silver um essentially loki threatens well no not even loki he high key threatens him it's like you know look if you get any more senseis if you try to expand if you try to um breathe drink some water use the restroom any of that stuff <laughs> you're crossing my line and i will come back here and put you in your place <laughs> which is essentially what he tells him <laughs> now i'm over exaggerating but he definitely he did tell him that if he tries to um expand cobra kai get any new senseis i was like damn like all of that too yeah he says that he'll come back here and um make him big for mercy which i was like i like how you say that because you know they're like about well, no mercy you know so I, that's i was like I, that, that was like a legit threat you know so guys um i'm excited to offer you to do let's get into this episode disclaimer this is not a substitute for the actual show but rather a reaction so please support the original creators by watching the show first then come back for my reaction thank you now let's get to it Okinawa, man. I googled it. It's like one giant green island. <laughs> said he never played before. Oh, you know, he, right. he, he, they you know, trounced them. You insult my honor. Okay, you are not at a blackjack table in Atlantic City. You can't trash talk a karate assassin. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Chosen. I, I, I meant no disrespect at all. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't take it personally, guys. He's been kicking a lot of ass lately. First round's on me, fellas. <laughs> How'd you hit him? Oh, shit. My backyard. I'm not the one who needs to go. Hmm. There we go. I actually like this attitude right here. It's a shame I won't get to see it again, because if you continue down this path, nothing in your life will ever be the same again. You're playing with fire, Danny boy. <laughs> here we go. And I am gasoline. I am gasoline. Yes, dude. Boom. Oh, what the boom? What the boom? Put these gentlemen's drinks on my tap. Damn, I'm even gonna buy y'all drinks, huh? He said that was cute. <laughs> what did that giant Bond villain want? <laughs> <laughs> giant Bond villain. Oh, nice. 
Hey, let me get a round of uh, pina coladas for my men here. Act like you've been here before. Can I have your most expensive tequila in the cabinet? Pina colada. We're not at a sandals resort. I felt sick a lot lately. I thought it was the stress, but... Johnny, I I'm a couple days late. Oh, she's pregnant. For what? Oh my gosh, you idiot. I think I might be pregnant. Wait, is that silver? Or is that, um, is that Barnes? Please be Barnes. Come on, let me see him. <laughs> Karate's bad boy. Yeah, he does not look so bad to me. <laughs> yeah, well, that guy tried to kill me once. You don't forget or forgive something like that. Oh, right. <laughs> <We're good. laughs> yeah, just, really? <laughs> Can I help you find something? Um, yes. I'm just looking for something special for my girlfriend. That's so sweet. Is it a birthday, an anniversary? He left the country without telling her during the biggest karate fight of her life. That's a new one. <laughs> How about a nice pair of earrings? How much is that? The octopus? Oh, the octopus. That makes sense. That's perfect. How much is it though? It's perfect. That that is perfect. I, I don't that, think I'm gonna be able to afford it. Actually, it's been reduced. Reduced. How much? Great. How much? After tax, one hundred and eighty-two dollars. That's still a lot. Do <laughs> you maybe have one with fewer tentacles? <laughs> right. Hey, don't worry about me. Something tells me he's not who he thinks he is. Listen, oh, wait, what he thinks he is. Flew from Japan. Wow, that's dedication. What do you think that scares me? Listen, by the time I'm finished with them, they're gonna be unrecognizable. Oh my gosh! You know, I think I Red herrings everywhere. I think I'm gonna start by cutting off their legs. <laughs> it's tables. It's tables, right? It's furniture. He's talking about. Oh my god! Yeah, those kids are in for a big surprise. Kids. Listen to me, you son of a bitch. I'm not gonna have you or your ponytail pimp play one finger on any of our kids. Daniel LaRusso? You got that right, shithead. You hear me, you sick bastard? <laughs> I'm going to you and I'm going to the whole goddamn thing. Stop! I'm sorry, who is this? And what happened to Michael? Who's this? Is everything okay, Mr. Barnes? I heard yelling. Yes, yes, everything's fine. Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Michelle? Yeah, I promise I will have the Japanese cedar chairs done by the time the school opens. The, the, the chair, yeah, I knew it was furniture. Florentine table. <laughs> Fine. Forty percent commission. Ah, oh, damn. Once again, I apologize. My life has been a little out of sorts oh, lately. Daniel, if there is one guy in this world that doesn't owe me an apology, believe me, it's you. But look, man, I'm so sorry for the things that I said back in the day, the things that I did. Man, I have wanted to apologize to you so many times. I, I guess I was worried that it would have triggered something or whatnot, you know. Thought maybe it was just best to leave the past where it is. Uh, that's a good idea. I'm just trying to wrap my head around Mike Barnes' Furniture King. <laughs> wow, Furniture Co-King. I run it with my wife. It's actually her dad's place. It, it was her dad's place. You know, after the All Valley Tournament, my life was ruined. I was lost. So one day I'm moving furniture and I meet my future father-in-law. He mm. showed me that I could do something with these hands other than fight. Mm. I don't know. There's just me. He found his Miyagi. About taking a piece of sycamore and just creating something that a family can sit around at a holiday and. Yo, this is great. Wow, <laughs> talk about a one eight. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, this is how I live and got her powers back. You got this, Sam. I know exactly who you are. Oh, Lord. Princess. She would face her. Tori? Oh, what? It's your darkness. Okay, this is this is good. This is really good. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, I had the most incredible vision. I was a drop of dew glistening in the moonlight. <laughs> she had a terrible vision. Are you okay? Is your pod broken too? My water was freezing. <sighs> Wasn't it enlightening? What'd you see? Her dark, her dark side, and she lost. Have this psycho invading your life again. I, I can't even imagine what that's like. Look, I came here because I thought he might be recruiting you again. And now I'm just hoping that you could help me stop him. Is there anything you could tell me that might bring this guy down? I need something. I, I mean, I haven't even seen him in years. I, I just don't know what I could do to help. I understand. I'm actually kind of relieved. It's nice to know there are some ex-Cobra Kai out there who actually don't want to get in a fight with me. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Of course, if you ever wanted a rematch, you know where to find me. Okay. <laughs> Look okay, at you, man. Way. You're looking good there. The oh, left side, sides. like I you. I see how it is. Just watch this. Joseph, no! They show no mercy. We show them no mercy. Chosen. Are you kidding me right now? Daniel, stop this. Daniel, stop this match, please. Chosen! Guys, stop! Guys, whoa! Stop! Just stop! Chosen, he didn't attack me! He's on the <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I know that was like unprofessional to take a call during this reaction during the reaction, but you know, that was my mother. I want to make sure she was alright. Alright. Let's continue. Inside. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This guy's with you? What the hell, Daniel? This is just a giant misunderstanding. Well, if this is misunderstanding, you better call ambulance. Why? Oh my gosh. Chosen. Once again, I'm sorry, Mike. I mean, Silver <laughs> has us all on edge. I can see that. <laughs> The only thing I can think of is that back in the day, Silver had this shady ass attorney. I mean, this guy was totally off the books, right? Okay. As a matter of fact, he did my contract for me. I mean, what kind of attorney draws up the paperwork detailing the terms of one teenager terrorizing another? Wait, he made you sign a contract? I made them put it in writing. The guy did promise me 50% of Cobra Kai. If people know this contract existed, Silver's reputation would be destroyed. They'd never let Cobra Kai compete again. <sighs> I see you liking that tufted blue suede. Mm. <laughs> mm. How much? Well, it's normally twelve hundred, but what the hell? For you, two grand. Damn. <laughs> Hi, I'm calling in regard to a former client of yours, <laughs> Terry Silver. This is very urgent. Please give me a call back ASAP when you get this message. Thank you. I got the lawyers. Yeah, I mean, Silver probably going to get to him first. I need a little break. Do you know? Figure out who I am outside of all that. You know what, do do? When you say break, what do you? What do you mean? Just don't say break up. Break from karate. From from the relationship, break dude. From me. Yeah. I'm not okay right now. And I don't think I will be until I figure this out for myself. Okay, sorry to pause it. Honestly, I'm okay with this. Just because, like, I mean, I can see, maybe I can see how it may seem like from Miguel's perspective. Because from, from Miguel's perspective, she's dumping him. But, it's like, if you think about it, like, Miguel, he took, he kind of pretty much, he just left, right? And he found him, like, he, he did some soul searching. The whole thing with his dad, like, he, he succeeded in doing what Sam's trying to do. And so Sam's just like, look, I just... I need to see who I am, what I am, just me. And I get that. So I'm really hoping Miguel is understanding of what she's trying to say, you know, because I don't think she's just trying to flat out dump him. She's just kind of like, I mean, unless, unless she is, but I think really she's just like, I just need a break from this, from our relationship. I just need so I can just focus on myself and figure out who I am. That's basically what she's trying to get to, because I guess that that thing when she was in that deprivation tank, it it, it messed with her because apparently she saw the darkest version of herself and it won. And I guess she needs to figure out what that means. Um, can she come back from that? Can she can the good part of her win? I guess I don't know. You know, like 
some good stuff going on here with Sam. Like I'm, I'm really looking forward to her development as the series goes on. She's got to regain her balance. Look, I understand. I want what's best for you always. You know that. No. Oh, he bought her the thing too. No, don't drop. Oh, come on, Miguel. Don't drop it. I'm pregnant. You're pregnant. Having a baby. Oh, oh, oh. Badass. Yeah. Badass. <laughs> Nothing like a good steam to start the day off right. Huh? Hi, I'm calling in regards to a former client of yours, Terry Silver. This is very urgent. Please give me a call back ASAP when you get this message. Thank oh. you. Oh, shit. I warned you. What are you doing here? Oh. You and I are going to be seeing a lot more of each other. First, I'm going to deal with my old friend. And then I'll deal with you. Oh, he did not. He ruined that man. That's so messed up, dude. Oh, God. Chef K. Dang. Rip. That's messed up. <laughs> he tore. So Silver went there and torched this man's. <laughs> that's. Oh, that's foul. So I guess he found out that. He was the one who gave him that information about his, about his um crooked lawyer. Dude, damn man, poor Barnes. You know the you know the messed up part is that Barnes was just minding his own business, just living his life, bro. You know, like just doing what he what he likes to do, what he loves. As soon as Danny came into his life, with all this, you know, the karate, <laughs> dude. That that day changed Barnes's life forever, dude. Poor Barnes, like justice for Barnes, man. <laughs> okay, you know, um, I'm now. Nah, I guess I I like to know you guys' thoughts on the whole thing with Sam and Miguel. Like, do you guys think it was a good idea for them to um break up? Like, do you think are you guys angry at Sam for doing what she did? Me personally, I'm not. I'm not angry at her for for breaking up with him. I I actually understand it. You know, especially with, and I think the the thing that gets me to understand her understand her more is her vision that she had while she was in the 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 sensory deprivation tank in that spa. You know, she saw everyone around her telling her, get, putting labels on her. You know, you know with with Danny, you know you you know you're Larusa two point Hawk. You know, like you know. Well, Hawk, he's like, you know, you, you, you're you the girl that lost, you know? and Which, I mean, Hawk, I don't think Hawk actually thinks that. At least I don't think he does. But she's all in her head. And she sees what she thinks is Tori. But it's actually a darker version of herself saying, I guess, telling her what she is. So she's, she's realizing that she needs to find out what she is, her who she is herself. And the thing I like about this is because the reason why I was hoping, too, that Miguel wouldn't be upset is because, you know, Miguel, he had that time. He he took the time off to, to to go do just that. Robbie did as well. If you think about it, I feel like Robbie's also had that had that um reflection. Hawk has, you know, he Hawk has Hawk definitely has, you know. And, and as for Tori, I think we're getting there with Tori. She, I don't think she has yet. <laughs> but for Sam, she's she's trying to she's trying to go for it. She's trying to find that inner balance of herself who she is you know and i really like that i like that they're doing it. and she's and you know she's just like you know and i need to f see who i am without without anything complicated going around you know which i mean honestly that's the best way of doing things like if you're trying to find if you're trying like if you're on self-discovery you know the best way 
to do self-discovery is by yourself because that's why it's called self-discovery. You know, not to say you should always be alone, but you're, you're discovering yourself. You don't need someone else around you for that, telling you what to do, what not to do. You got to just be, you got to find that yourself. And that's what she, what she's realizing she needs. She realizes that she no longer really has Miyagi Do anymore because they're done. The tournament's over, so she can't do anything with that. So really the only other thing that she kind of really has at that point is kind of, it's Miguel. But then she's realizing that like, I actually do need to cut that loose too, because that means that if I'm not all those other things, the only thing I am is Miguel's girlfriend. But what am I without that? And now that she's cut that loose, she gets to find that out. And I'm hoping that this only strengthens, you know, her feelings for Miguel. I'm hoping. I, dude, I'll say something right now. If Miguel goes back to Tori, I'm done. I, I don't want that to happen. I don't want him going back to Tori. Because um, I actually I do, I think Tori and Robbie are still a thing. So if Miguel goes back to Tori, then... Miguel is officially a shitty guy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but I don't think that he will. I don't think that he will. Man, but yeah, guys, this episode was um great. Man, Johnny's going to be a dad, so let's wrap our heads around that, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, so you know what? So two questions. First question is, again, tell me your thoughts on um Sam breaking up with Miguel. You think she, do you guys hate her for it, or you think you guys understand her for it and then two what kind of baby do you think johnny's gonna have that's gonna come out of um miguel's mom's womb you know like is it gonna be like, like a karate kai baby with some like you know <laughs> listening to some hard rock and metal i hope so guys <laughs> but you know what guys all right that's gonna be it for this video can't wait to next episode if you like what you saw please give me a thumbs up it helps me a tremendous amount if you have not already why not subscribe of course tuesdays wednesdays thursdays if you guys have any comments about this episode or the series as a whole that's non-spoilery post them below i love for you guys comments also if you have any suggestions on what you would like to react to next post those as well and set them next scene i will take a look at them to next video guys i'm seeing nothing but bad love stay awesome justice for barnes <laughs>